Welcome to Savor Indiana. I'm Ron Gifford. This week we're snacking and splashing, sipping and zipping along US 30 between Lake and Porter counties in northwest Indiana. We begin in the city of Alparaiso, the county seat of Porter County. So do you like popcorn? Indiana has long been a leader in the research and production of popcorn. In fact, Indiana is the second largest producer of popcorn in the United States, right behind Nebraska. The Valparaiso Popcorn Festival, held the first Saturday after Labor Day annually in downtown, pays homage to a local name and face commonly associated with this snack food. The festival began in 1979 and was first billed as Orville Redenbacher Appreciation Day. Orville was the man who made Valparaiso and his gourmet popping corn famous through the advertising of his signature product. A lot of people know the name Orville Redenbacher, but they may not know what he did for the popcorn industry and for Indiana particularly. If you're enjoying a bowl of popcorn while you're watching this program, odds are it's because of Orville Redenbacher. When young Orville was growing up in the early 1900s in Indiana, most people could only enjoy popcorn at the movies, sporting events, fairs, and the circus, where it was popped in large batches. The quality of popcorn sold for home popping was hit and miss. The problem was that the corn dried out in shipping and storage, making the kernels unlikely to pop. Orville not only produced a new hybrid of popcorn, he improved the popcorn's packaging to maintain product quality and marketed his new product nationwide. And when, at age 69, he rolled out a new ad campaign for the popcorn, within three years, annual sales passed the $1 billion mark. In 1951, Orville moved to Porter County, where he and his business partner, Charlie Bowman, a Purdue classmate, bought an existing seed corn plant. Their company became the world's largest producer of popcorn seed. Over the years, Orville and Charlie experimented with tens of thousands of popcorn hybrids before developing their breakthrough strain, which they named Red Bow, which was introduced to the public at Chicago's Marshall Fields in 1970. Six years later, Orville Redenbacher's gourmet popping corn made its national debut. Well done, Orville. Today, the annual Valparaiso Popcorn Festival features more than 250 arts and crafts booths, kids activities, a five mile run, a 5K run walk popcorn panic, the Little Colonel Puff Race, two live music stages, and the nation's first popcorn parade, where all entries must incorporate 20% popcorn and or corn products into their displays. <music> Tina St. Aubin and Jennifer Fornaro are with Valparaiso Events, the organizers of the Valparaiso Popcorn Festival. So tell me about the festival. It's always the Saturday after Labor Day. It is roughly about 50,000 people for our one day event. Well, there's plenty of live entertainment, uh, great food down here, lots of different food options. And the cool thing about the food is that every single food vendor pairs up with a nonprofit organization, so everybody kind of is able to raise money. The kids can enjoy the inflatable area, all the activities that take place there. Uh, and then later throughout the day, the parents can come, uh, listen to the live music. Uh, there's a beer garden for them to enjoy, but the park is family friendly, so families can come down with their picnics and just spend the day listening to music as well. It takes um, a lot of financial support from our awesome sponsors to help us put on this event. Our volunteers range from youth groups to high school organizations to nonprofits to um, volunteers that some have been with us for 39 years. And it takes a whole lot of people to put this on. It takes also every city department to help put this on. There's something for everyone at the Popcorn Festival. Our community comes together, it celebrates Valparaiso, and we hope that it continues for many more years. Orville Redenbacher's motto was, do one thing and do it better than anyone. Orville passed away in 1995, but according to the website factretriever.com, Orville Redenbacher is still the number one best-selling popcorn brand in the world today. The Valparaiso Popcorn Festival is a fitting celebration of the man his tenacity and his accomplishments. For details on the festival, visit our website, saverindiana.com, where you'll find a link for more information. For Saver Indiana, I'm Ron Gifford.